I've been doing this for 15 years now, and the highlights are sort of generic in the sense that you know I get I get a lot of kicks from doing you know high stakes uh, commercial mediation that makes a difference to people's lives, whether they be their corporate lives or their you know personal lives, and I think that's what really makes the difference when people come into the mediation not very confident that they will achieve a resolution and walk out at the end of the day saying I never would have thought at the end of you know when we started that we would achieve so much and that's that's really a thrill still after all these years a real thrill well I think international parties can expect a very simple process I think that's its attraction that really when you boil it all down it is a simple process the parties agree to mediate, it's a matter of appointing the mediator, getting the documentation uh, exchanged, and often that's not, a, not a, a, a complex process, and then really meeting. And the mediator convenes that, and uh, in the international work often that's multi-day, but it, you know, it can be a very speedy process. Within you know, two or three months from the appointment of the mediator, for preparation and meeting uh, can be a very short time compared to litigation or arbitration or any of the others. Good mediators, and I think more these days than, than in the past, mediators will be able to uh, operate along the spectrum of, of styles. So I think although I would describe myself as uh, instinctively a, a facilitative mediator. I think we all learn to operate outside of that depending on what the parties need and often you don't know what the parties need and they don't know what, what's needed until you are actually at the table and you can move up and down the spectrum of, of mediator styles from facilitative to evaluative and back again. And I think that happens at different times of the mediation. So I think these days you know, mediators don't actually pigeonhole, pigeonhole themselves. We need more direction, more help, more guidance. We need to understand maybe what your views are about X or Y. Then I think, you know, within reason, a mediator will, will do what they can. Um, I think most of us would draw the line at, at, at giving a view because that's not what the parties hire us for. If they, if they wanted that, they'd hire an arbitrator. But I think, um, you know, we can be much more than just a process guide for the parties because they expect us to, to do that. I think obvious one is speed and cost. Uh, the speed compared to other processes that are available uh, is sometimes staggering. The cost, uh, it depends, but the cost can be a lot less than other processes. But I think um, the, the, the real attractions are that there, there is no jurisdictional issues, that the parties can choose where they meet, uh, they can choose uh, the law they meet uh, under. If that's relevant, often it's not, it's just simply the law of the contract. And, and I, think, I think that um, uh, the, the whole thing is simplified.